Hi there, I'm just June Simmons with Online Sales Pro, and tonight is my night 82. 82 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge. And it's day 32 oh, of the Facebook blueprint learning that I'm going through. And last night we left off with, we're doing, um, we're, we're working on boosting your post. And we left off with edit, targeting, and schedule. And so that's what we're going to pick up with tonight. Or this morning. It's already 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to work again tonight. So anyways, um, you can change the targeting and schedule of your boosted post in the Ads Manager in Power Editor. In Ads Manager, you click on the campaign that you that your ad set is in and you hover over the name of your ad set and then click on it. In the editor that appears, make your changes and click save and close. And from the power editor, you click um, the little four squares on the left side and then you check the box next to the ad to set next to the ad set you want to edit. Click edit in the editor that appears and make your changes. When you're done, click review changes to publish your changes. Stop boosting a post. To stop boosting a post, a page post, you can pause your boost, as we mentioned above, and resume it later, or you can delete your boost. To delete your boost, you select the bottom right of the boosted post. Select the um, like the little setting sign in the bottom left corner of the window that appears, and then select delete post. Select delete post to confirm. Deleting your post won't delete your post. Your promotion will stop, and the insights associated with it will be deleted. After your post is deleted, you can choose to boost your post again. If you stop boosting up page post, you'll only pay for the portion of the budget that was used. Learn more about what happens to your budget. Let's do a review of what you're learning Learn through a quick knowledge check. Let's first do this, what happens to your budget. What happens to your budget if you stop boosting I can't read it, I'm gonna have to change that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go lower smaller than that even. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so if you choose to pause or to delete a post in a page before the boost ends, then you'll only be charged for the portion of the budget that was already spent to boost your post. If you resume a post, you'll continue to pay until you've used the total budget that you initially set. For example, if you boosted a page post for $10 and deleted or pause the boost after spending $5, you'll only be charged the $5 you already spent to boost the post. It's important to remember that you don't repay when you boost the post. That means you may be billed after pausing and deleting your booted post. Okay. Okay, let's do that knowledge check and see what we know. Through this course, we hope we hope that you've learned the benefits of boosting your post, how to boost a post from the page with Ads Create Tool or Power Editor, how to monitor the engagement metrics of the page reach. Now it's time for a quick quiz to test your knowledge. Let's see how I did. Boost the post 
increases the likelihood that choose two of them that a business will receive more page likes people are more likely to respond to businesses discount or sales promotions everyone who follows the business page will see the post customers friends might see their friends likes and comments on the business post so boosting a post increases the likelihood that people are more likely to respond to a business discount or sales promotion I don't know what the other one is for sure. If it's customers' friends might see their friends' likes and comments on the page. I'm going to say a business will receive more likes. Oh, one of them wasn't right. Oh, yeah, the business is going to see more likes. So, yeah, it's the customers might see their friends, likes, and comments, and people are more likely to respond to a business's discount or sales positions. Okay, so number two, what are the three ways a business can manage the budget, budget of their boosted post? From the power editor, from the ads manager, and from the post itself. That's not my bet. Yep, all three of those are right. Okay. Let's see what else. Number three. What roles can create boosted page posts? Hey, page admins only, paid admins and admins and editors, paid admin editor and moderators. Page, admins, editors, moderators, and advertisers. I'm going to say page, admins, editors, and moderators. Page, admins, editors, moderators, and advertisers. I got that one wrong. After a business boost a post, when can costs start occurring? Immediately after the post has been boosted, I think. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. It says I'm done with this course. Okay. All right. So, got another certificate. Oops. Okay, it says that I have completed Boost Your Post as part of the Blueprint e-learning program. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Well, it's 4.30 in the morning, so I better probably get to bed. But thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow for day 83 and 33. Have a great night.